All right. Oh. Here we go. So, audio is going to be a little bit different on this video just because no microphone, because I'm in the process of returning them. Uh, I've got a new set arriving tomorrow. Third time's a charm, eh? Uh, I'm after a set of the, um, the Rode Wireless Go 2, I think they're called. Um, because they're like the bigger, the chunkier ones, but everyone that I've seen that uses them has got a lot better sound quality out of them, so that's basically why I want to get them. Uh, but today, I'm in work at half twelve, so I'm heading in now to do an arm session. So I should go to work with a nice nice pump on, which will be good. Um, and then the plan for tonight is just to start getting things ready for LA. Uh, and just do that, really. But as for arms, I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to try and do what I did last week, because I had a really good, I say last week, last arm session, which was when I was over in Ireland, which was a really, really good session that I had. Um, granted, having four scoops of pre-workout really, <laughs> really helped with that. Um, but my head is still hurting. I've taken some painkillers this morning, but I don't think it's done much. Um, so I am going to just monitor that and just be careful with it. I'm going to go to get some petrol now for the car, get a, like a LucasAid or something, which might help unfog my brain. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to try and keep this car talk short because I don't know what the audio quality is going to be like. Plus I can't drive whilst doing this. So, um, yeah, I just want to get this done, get to the gym and train. Appreciate everyone who checks the videos. Appreciate everyone putting up with the fact that like yesterday, I uploaded like three in a row. Just trying to get more to get the whole thing back out there. There's going to have been a couple of them now which haven't had like end videos either. I think yesterday I didn't have an end one because uh, it was really dark when I got the car. And I know it can be a little bit hard to see sometimes when I'm driving, in, but they see me when I'm driving in the dark. So I didn't want to have that as a problem. Uh, and I just forgot to do it when I got home because I got distracted by getting a subway. Um, I finally signed up for the bloody um, subway card so I can actually start getting some points for all the bloody pictures that I make when I'm in there. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for me for now. Uh, next time you see me will be top set of uh, triceps, first movement. There'll be a voiceover because there'll be no audio in the gym. But yeah, that's pretty much it. See you there. Oh, okay, back at it with a voiceover because the microphone that I was trying to use, I had to send back and was waiting for the delivery. So we started off the arm day with some V-grip pushdowns. Now, V-grip pushdowns is probably one of my favorite uh, tricep movements just because of the fact that like, you can just overload it so well. Um, try my best to make sure that I'm getting the full rom that I can but you notice as the set goes on the rom kind of decreases a little bit but that's what fatigue does to you um uh, something that I really love doing and then straight into then the rope curls so the closest I can get to doing a hammer kill without doing a hammer kill um again trying to get that full rom it's quite hard when you're uh tall and have long arms to get full rom on some of these movements because you have to kind of step back to get that full extension in. but you'll notice I Saw some folks that were that saw me filming. I'm like, oh, you know, we'll wait. And I was like, no, just just move. Like, remember, like it's not your gym. You all you're all there with the same membership fee. So just be mindful and be kind to each other. And it doesn't matter if someone walks through whilst you're filming. Like at the end of the day, like if you want to have your own production set, get your own production set. Uh, then on to rope extensions or rope pull downs, whatever you want to call them. Um, a staple movement for anyone's uh, triceps movement such a good way of doing it but again making sure that the, the ends of the the ropes don't touch each other because that makes it a lot easier you'll find that if you do it when they're both separate versus when they're both together it's a completely different feeling i had a surprisingly good set of um preacher kills here so machine based preacher kills um managed to load up i think i topped out at like 50 which is like 10 kilos up from what i normally do which i'm very surprised that given the fact that it's a deficit that i'm in at the moment but yeah, weight was hovering around like 98 at the moment, so it's all maintaining quite well, but I have been slacking on that cardio, so it's my own, my own fault for that, but we're going to crank that up a notch uh, once LA is out of the way. Um, but yeah, really good set. Or, as you notice, most of the movements that I do, I will be pushing into partials at the end of it. Um, might look a little bit stupid at times, but it does help me get everything out. 
This is a movement which I brought in a couple of arm days ago. So Smith skulls, Smith Smith skull crushers. Um, it's a really fun way of doing a skull crusher whilst keeping it a bit safer because you can lock it, but you can also, in, because of that, load it up a bit more as well. Um, so yeah, really good fun with it. Enjoy doing this movement and enjoy how it um, feels for my arms. It's just one of those things that once it, it's like it will catch up to you quick. Like, in my experience anyway, I find that when I'm doing any movements in my arms, like the first few sets are great, and then the last like three feel like a completely different feeling whatsoever, and it's like pain, just pain, in a good way. Uh, you notice the veins on my head popping through then. Uh, something which I have incorporated uh, since the style of training is uh, heavy dumbbell curls, but with strapping onto the, the actual dumbbell itself, because it kind of takes a little bit of the... Um, the forearm tension out of it uh, and it allows you to just spring a little bit more when the weight gets a little bit too much at the end of the the prescribed rep range um but yeah like a, a really fun way of burning out i will do these with an alternating style so not together and um, we'll come on to that in as to why in a moment but i prefer to do alternating because again once it starts to creep up in terms of your form breakdown starts to happen, the fatigue picks up, you can then switch into a little bit more of a swing, a bit more of a lean, just to try and squeeze everything out. Obviously, you wouldn't start your set moving that way. Um, you want to try and start it with as much movement just with the biceps as possible. But when you get to that point where you need to push more, you, you can. Uh, probably one of the most uh, awkward movements to set up is an any overhead movement. We have a seated one that I just can't seem to get my head around how to sit in and overload it without it being like, really weird in, on my arms so i prefer to do standing overhead extensions at the moment um i always reason I say it's weird is because if you like you've got to spin and pull the cable up to get to it but it's a really good feeling for I, I don't quote me on this but i think it's the long head of the tricep that this type of movement works um again you've got to mix up your, your tricep to, work to make sure you're hitting every single uh head of the three yeah the three heads yeah so this is the uh, other set of dumbbell curls and this is why I do them together so with this now um, I'm able to focus on a squeezing motion and keeping it all in the biceps without overly sort of exerting myself and having a form breakdown happen and also once you reach a point of uh, fatigue and mechanical breakdown with uh, double-handed bicep curls you could then go into single hand to burn out what's left and then bring in that lean so I prefer this nice, slow, and controlled. I think I've got like tens in my hands here. There's no need to go like super heavy when you're doing this type of thing. Um, biceps aren't a humongous muscle, like belly in comparison to other uh, areas. So it's all about focusing on keeping it in that muscle itself. But you can see like everything starts to break down, even me, and there's hardly anything coming out. Um, it feels weird when you're failing a rep with a 10 kilo dumbbell in your hand. Uh, but again, it doesn't really matter what everyone else perceives of you whilst you're in there. It's just about what you can do and what you're doing for yourself. And then, I um, don't know why I left this in, but yeah, I just want to show off the uh, the Team Wales t-shirt that uh, I got from the Home Nations comp uh, the weekend before. Um, Titan sorted us out with some Team Wales uh yeah, I want to say embroidered but printed kit. Um, so yeah, and then finishing up now with something which I brought into my uh, arm days of recent, which is just a few sets of uh, forearm movements. So starting here with some uh, open palm, so gripping it with my fingers, not my thumb. Uh, reverse curls on a an easy bar, a fixed weight easy bar. Um, it does bring in some biceps to it. Obviously, you're not going to be able to avoid that, but the idea is that it's putting in a lot more because the way you're holding the bar, it's a lot more tension on the the tops of the of the forearm. I forget what that muscle is called. And then finishing up, then this was a movement which I haven't done for years, and it was um, tri uh, forearm like wrist curls. Do you want us to call it that? It's um, Something which I just put in just to try and burn everything out of it, but I didn't know if I, I don't think I get much from it, so I don't know if I'll do them again, but I might have to switch up to an easy bar uh, just to see if that has any difference because I found the straight bar is a little bit too much pressure on my wrist and the angle at the top. You can see it feels a little bit weird. 
But yeah, overall, great arm day. Okay, oh, I hope that's level. So, um, <clears throat> this is just a little video at the end of the day. Um, I have work after. Um, I'm going to slouch a little bit so I know I can fit in. Um, I have work after the um, session, and I wanted to get there in time to sit down and eat some stuff. So, thankfully, uh, UFIT has Athlete Kitchen in there, so they have a load of food from that. So I grabbed a pot of overnight oats. Um, and yeah, that was that was nice. It was like a Kinder Bueno flavor. I hope I say that right and not like a really posh way. Um, but yeah, it was a good session today. Um, arms felt really good with it. Forearm work was fun to do as well. Um, yeah, just overall like a really, really nice like arm day. Um, it's, just, it's just comfy as hell. I love this chair. Um, this is a chair that I had to review for a tech website that I write for. Um, like this class, I love it. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Before I got distracted by how comfy I am. <laughs> um, yeah, the food class. Um, I didn't have any meal prep with me because after coming home from Ireland, the next day I was ruined, didn't do any. And because I'm going away on Friday, I didn't see the point in me doing Well, there's always a point in me doing it. I'm just lazy and I'm not doing it. So it's going to be a bit of an expensive couple of days. But I went to Nan, not Nando's. I'll go there tomorrow. I went to Tesco today and grabbed like a, a meal deal. But it was just like this. Um, I had some of the Christmas stuff they got in. Like a, a posh wrap with some uh, extra like, chicken bits. Um, but yeah, did that. Just had a little bit of muesli with the protein yogurt now a couple of protein bars earlier as well didn't track today which is annoying and i hate myself for it but unfortunately mistakes happen um but yeah tomorrow i'm gonna wake up do my cardio and then um do a leg session legs are gonna be tough being it is gonna be early in the morning but gotta do what you gotta do new mic should be arriving tomorrow so tomorrow's video won't have it, but the one the chess session which will happen on Thursday. Well, I double check what date it what day it was then. Um but yeah, that's it for for today. I'm gonna round it off today. I'm sorry it's been a little bit all over the place this week. Just it it's just tough to sit down sometimes and um do it when there's so much else I need to organise. Um I've had a look at the parking for Heathrow, that's all still the same price. I need to check the seats are going to still be available and if I want to pay for them. But I'll do all that tomorrow because I'm going to be sitting down with Gareth, one of the boys in work, who helps me with all this stuff. I say he helps me, he, he's really good with like <clears throat> booking things for airports and stuff. He's a lot of flying himself and he's one of my best friends. So, yeah. But me and Chris have decided we're going to go watch an ice hockey game on Sunday. So I've got to sort of tickets for that out as well. I think it's Anaheim Ducks versus uh, San Jose Sharks, which would be a sick game to watch. Um, I need to see what merch the Ducks have, because I was a Phoenix Coyotes fan. Um, and Maple Leafs as well was a team I, I enjoyed watching. Uh, but who doesn't love the Ducks? Like, who does not love the Ducks? I'm sorry, that's my Mac making sounds. Um, but yeah. That's the night. So, as always, if you're watching this and you're training, I hope you're lifting heavy. If you're resting up, I hope you're getting your food in, your one gram of protein per pound of body weight, carbs, your fat, your water, your hydration, your electrolytes, everything. Just stay on top of it. You know, keep pushing. Um, it's tough in winter when it gets cold and dark outside, um, but it's worth it in the end. Whether you're bulking or cutting, like it's all going to come through. Um, but yeah, that's it. So remember, just take your multi and lift heavy.